It's time now for our weekly segment, Ask Alexis, where business reporter Alexis Christophorus shares financial advice on the topics that matter most to you. And today she's here to answer your questions on interest rates. All right, Alexis, let's start with Marsha from Lake Placid, New York. Marsha asks, what's the best way for me to take advantage of higher interest rates without tying up my money for a long time or taking too many risks? Marsh is not alone in this because, you know, the Fed has been raising interest rates, right? So now for the first time in a long time, we're actually making more money on our money. So you're usually going to find the most competitive rates at smaller banks and online banks. Um, Taking a look at some of that right now, um, we have got last week, Apple unveiled a savings account with an attractive interest rate of 4.15% for people who have the Apple credit card. But others are doing even better, like the online bank UFB Direct offering a savings account with an APY of nearly 5%. Another low risk, high reward option is a money market account. They typically earn at higher rates than basic savings accounts. And the more you put in, the higher interest rate you're gonna get. But you're gonna wanna beware here because some banks may put a cap on how many withdrawals you can make each month. CDs are very popular right now and they are super safe assets that pay out interest over a set period of time, like a bond. They start at three months, they can go all the way up to 20 years. So we did a little digging here and found that the online bank Marcus is offering 5% on a 10-month CD right now with a $500 minimum deposit. Synchrony Bank will give you 5.15% on a 14-month CD, and there is no minimum there. Taking a look at Treasury bonds, of course, they have the advantage of paying interest that's exempt from state and local taxes. So they're a pretty good choice, especially if you live in a high-tax state like New York or California. But whatever you do, you want to make sure, Diane, that it is backed by the FDIC. Now, Lucas from Clearwater, Florida says, I recently heard about CD ladders. What are they and how do I know if they're right for me? Yeah, CD ladders, you're not going to find them at your neighborhood park. They are an investment <laughs> vehicle and it's a pretty good way to help navigate higher interest rates and get some more return on your money. So instead of committing, let's say, to a single five-year CD, you want to lock in uh, a, a CD ladder or a series of CDs that will mature at progressively later dates. If you have $5,000 to invest, you can then split it into five $1,000 CDs that mature at different times and at different interest rates. So as each CD term expires, you can either pocket your return or you can extend your ladder by reinvesting them in a new five-year CD. The nice thing here, you can customize your ladder timing uh, based on what your needs might be, say, for college or a down payment on a house. They're also a pretty good strategy if you are a retiree because ladders can help you stretch your fixed income. So bottom line here, CD ladders, they don't necessarily yield higher returns than a single CD, but having multiple CDs spread out over a period of time will always ensure that you have cash on hand when you need it. And you're making some money on your Money in the process. And we're out of time, but I have a quick question of okay. my own. If you want to keep your money in the savings account, but you feel like you're not getting a good rate, can you ask for a better one? Everything is negotiable, Diane. We have to learn. That's business 101. So yes, ask your bank and tell them if you don't give me a better rate, I'm going to move my money. All right. Great tips, Alexis. Thank you. <laughs> and if you want to ask Alexis any personal finance questions, leave a message on our Instagram feed. She just might answer your question here next Thursday. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.